Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff, Green Country Custom Baits. Glad you stopped back in to check out another uh, uh, spray session. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm actually not going to be painting a bait. I've got a run of uh, six different baits here that uh, I thought I'd shoot a video and show how I do my clear coat process. Uh, uh, the product I use is uh, a product by Tamco, and it's called High Impact Clear. Uh, this is the Hardener HH7605. I don't have the original canister. Uh, uh, that the other uh, other part came into, but uh, again, it's just extremely durable, uh, thin, uh, clear coat that really brings out these colors. So I thought I'd show you how to spray it. Uh, so hang out, and let's uh, do some clear coat coverage. So I'm gonna shoot uh, this little short video here uh, and it's gonna be a little bit loud because I've got to run this exhaust, exhaust fan with this high impact clear. It's very, you don't want to breathe the stuff. Uh, it's a, uh, got a lot of high solids in it. So, uh, but anyway, uh, we've got about six different baits here. We're gonna spray and, and uh, if you can deal with the noise of that exhaust fan, uh, just stick along for the ride. So we want to be spraying about 35 to 38 uh, on this clear and It's really a quick and simple process. I usually start with the bill, throw some down on it, sometimes top and bottom. Uh, just depends on kind of where I want to start with the bait. But. You just go fairly light, get good coverage on your bait, move to the next one. It does not take very much of this product at all. In fact, I'll show you kind of how I mix the this batch for uh, for this particular paint order. It. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you it sure makes those colors pop, especially those iridescents uh, when that clear hits it. So that's one coat. That's generally enough. I'll usually wait here, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. We'll come back and I'll, I'll hit it again. Okay, we're gonna go back over them one more time just real quick. I like to hit the lower half once again, uh, just to help prevent, you know, some of that hook rash that can happen. And it's gonna happen. Uh, I don't think there's a finish out there that, that you can avoid that on. It's just what's gonna happen to crankbaits, but uh, I do like to have the bottom half of the bat, batch with two coats on so that 
we get really good coverage on it. So appreciate you stopping in. I know this was a quick one, uh, but I uh, had a few viewers out there that's asked what I use for clear coat and how I go about that and what's it look like to spray it. So uh, there's your little short video on, on how that is and how quick that is to do uh, six baits. Uh, and how I mix that, just real quick, I used uh, uh, to do those six baits and uh, you know basically a coat and a half on them. I used uh, two of these, so one teaspoon to three of these, which is a quarter teaspoon, uh, and that's all it takes of those products. So, and I'm gonna tell you, it comes out extremely hard. If any of you uh, purchased any lures of mine and you've had any issue with that. Uh, please let me know. See what you tell me what you think about it. Uh, I've had a lot of good responses from the bites that that I have fished and uh, from the customers that have bought from me. So uh, appreciate you again. Give you a look uh, at that bait once that clear coat's on. It's got a nice, simple, even coat. Uh, you can set that in a, a room temperature house for for four or five hours and it'll be rock hard. And, uh, you could still come back, scuff it up, and put a little bit more on if you've got a very uh, tough finish that you wanted to cover up even better. But uh, for the most part, this one does it for me uh, and it has held up extremely good. So uh, again, smash that like, uh, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next Saturday.